All right, so what happened was today it is uh, April the 22nd and supposedly um, there was a uh, explosion slash fireball reported over Nevada and California. Now they're claiming that, it, that uh, NASA is, is claiming that it was a uh, a meteor that um, entered Earth's atmosphere and all that good stuff, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking otherwise. I'm thinking this was more like a like a government cover up. Since we got to think of where this took place, it took place over Nevada and California. Now Nevada automatically makes me think of <coughs> Area 51. And because of that, that makes me lead to believe that there was probably some type of Area 51 experimental thing going on, maybe, in that area, and it blew up, maybe, just like exploded, I don't know, maybe they were testing out some new plane or something, who knows. But it's funny that they would, that it would happen over that, that area, you know, so, I don't know, I don't believe that there was any meteor but until somebody uh goes ahead and gets the news to show off a big rock from uh space and all in their backyard or in their garage or through their roof or something then you know i just can't believe that man i mean i don't know i'm not really too big on the conspiracy theories and all but you know what made me kind of like call bs on the whole 9 11 thing was this whole uh planes hitting the World Trade Center. I mean, <clears throat> nobody, <clears throat> sorry about this, but nobody, nobody was talked about in those planes that crashed, which I found was funny. Like, uh, none of the, none of the people were ever talked about. And there was no mentioning of anybody that ever died in any of those planes that supposedly hit the World Trade Center. I did see some pictures and some footage and all that stuff of, uh, probably fake stuff, but, I I never heard of anybody who who was ever mentioned in any of those planes. Like none of the family victim, none of the victims of any of the people who were on the plane were ever mentioned about it. Now I did hear that supposedly, <laughs> supposedly there was some people who tried to take over the uh, flight 93 or whatever it was. I don't know. I'm not sure which one. I because I really didn't care about the whole 9/11 thing. I mean, yeah, it did happen in my country, but you know. It's something that, you know, I had no control over. And, you know, in reality, you know, I, I kind of knew the whole time that it was going to be a government cover-up. But um, it was in probably an inside job with the, with the government and all. Probably one of these things for um, power of fear to get people to support the wars over there and all. But, yeah, the whole thing with the whole 9-11 thing kind of, like, threw me off and then and especially with the whole planes hitting the World Trade Center. I mean, nobody was ever talked about from any of those planes that ever hit the Trade Center. So that was kind of like one of the things that turned me off to believing it was a hijacking or anything. But anyways, back to this whole thing in uh, Nevada and California. Uh, it'll probably be on CNN maybe if it's not there now, but I was reading it on my local, uh, my local email so my local ISP had it on their website and they were claiming that there was a an explosion and a fireball and I was like what the hell and then I got to reading that it was over Nevada and California and then I was kind of like well that's just probably some Area 51 military experiment gone wrong which I probably wouldn't doubt and you know they don't want they don't want anybody getting suspicious about it so they cover it up and make it look like you know it was a meteor that crashed on the earth and all the thing that has me bugged about that is 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 these are the people that are supposed to be able to warn you if something is going to impact um, earth and all I'm surprised there was no like heads up about you know watch out when you're going out today you might get hit in the head by flying space <laughs> debris and all but uh yeah i just i it kind of shocks me that you know they there was nothing on the news ahead of time saying you know well today there might be 
space debris, you know, that you're going to be seeing over the sky or anything. Nothing like this was ever given to us, which, you know, has me concerned that possibly the whole story with the, with NASA being able to see, you know, asteroids and comets and all that stuff, predictions before they actually get near Earth is probably a bunch of bullshit. But, yeah, I just, I just figured I'd comment on that because, you know, I... The minute, I, the minute I saw Nevada and California, I, I immediately thought of Area 51. That's the first thing that came to mind. Is the Area 51 experiment gone wrong, and they're trying to cover it up. So that's just that's just my thoughts, you know. I don't know. It could be a meteor that crashed, but until I see somebody selling this new meteor on like eBay or something, then I don't, I don't know. I don't think. I think it was probably like like a uh, military experiment gone bad in, in Area 51. I mean, it is over those, it is near the desert and all that, all this was heard from, so probably one of their experiments had gone wrong and they're just trying to cover it up.